the region one that we're going to talk about is that cerebrum. You already know the basic components that make up the cerebrum, right? Talk just a little bit more about the cerebrum here. This is a frontal or coronal section of the cerebrum. So here you can really see the cerebral cortex on the outside, as well as, um, doo -doo -doo, let me get this here. Okay, there we go. As well as the internal nuclei. So here's the cortex on the edge. Um, the white matter is white, right? So that is made up of axons, of myelinated, um, myelinated axons. So we should recognize the white matter, the gray matter, and then the internal gray matter here. This again, so what is this? If we're talking about cerebrum, this is gonna be our basal nuclei inside there. This image over here looks crazy complex. Um, the point is not to um, learn the complexity, but I kind of wanna give you a um, slice of the cortex so you can understand what it means to be this gray matter. This is showing um, these layers of the cortex. The cerebral cortex has various layers that are numbered. And my point is here, there are cell bodies in each of these layers that are connected by axons, right? So we've got layers of communication within the cerebral cortex. Um, cell layers, that's processing. Um, so just kind of a visual of being able to see what that gray matter, right? This is all the gray matter. White matter is down here. This is our myelinated axons. The cerebral cortex itself so here's our longitudinal fissure right here. Um, is composed of different structural areas that have different functions. We're not gonna learn all of them. There's gonna be a few that I want you to know about that are going to come up um, as we go through, talk about some of the senses, for example, and some of the motor systems. So let's organize that again. So I'm gonna ask, so this is all the different regions of the cerebral cortex that are associated with different functions. Some of them are given names and some of them are, well, most of them are given names. Um, oftentimes their names correspond to their functions. So for example, primary motor cortex. These are the ones that I want you to know. So, Primary motor cortex is just in front of what? You remember what this is? This here is our central sulcus. So the primary motor cortex in red here, that is on, that is made up of um, our precentral gyrus. The premotor cortex is just in front of that. So just anterior or rostral to that. So that's gonna be involved in motor control. Behind the central sulcus, we have that post-central gyrus. And that's where the primary somatosensory cortex is located. The primary somatosensory cortex, along with the somatosensory association cortex, those together are gonna to make up the somatic sensory areas. I'm gonna move myself here. Let's throw me down there. Somatic senses, there we are. So senses from the bulk of the body Gustatory cortex, that's right here. Briefly, we'll talk about taste. That's what gustation is. Um, then visual cortex is back in the occipital lobe, right? Remember this back here is your occipital lobe. 
and that's where the visual cortex is located. So we've got vision. Um, anything else that's here, you can learn if you want to. It's not stuff that we're gonna talk about more in this class. Okay, last thing for this video is going back briefly as part of the um, cerebellum, I'm sorry, it's part of the cerebrum. Remember those basal nuclei are the um, gray matter that are embedded deeper than the cortex. Unfortunately, another name for basal nuclei is basal ganglia. Sorry. Um, these regions are involved in integration of motor activity. So, and this is typically during ongoing movements. So we'll come back to um, control of motor at the end of this week and see them again there, them meaning this group of nuclei that make up the basal nuclei. There are three different nuclei, the caudate, putamen, and globus pallidus. Um, you'll see some of these in lab, we'll look at the sheep brain. Other than that, you do not need to be able to identify them specifically. Um, look for the lab for what I want you to identify on the sheep brain. For lecture, I want you to recognize these nuclei as the basal nuclei. Um, so we'll, we'll come back to this in terms of integrating sensory information coming in from the periphery muscle tone and limb position, along with information coming from the primary motor cortex, as well as the cerebellum as part of um, controlling movement. So that's basically it for now. Uh, notice here this corpus callosum. I don't think I've formally talked about this. This is the white matter tract that connects the two hemispheres. So it allows the two brain sides of the brain to talk to each other. 